Hi guys, welcome back. So I've been meaning to shoot this video for a very long time now, um, but it's just been getting pushed further and further down in the list of videos to do. But today it's getting filmed. So with this video series, there's gonna be a multi-step, multi-episode series where I start to delve into the pressure washer and exactly what is coming to Yum Cars. So as you can see behind me here, we've got a Kranzel 1152 TST. Um, I'm going to talk you through exactly how I got it first, so when it was completely stuck, which parts came with it, and exactly what is going to be happening with this pressure washer and the car. So when I first got it, so it's now two and a half years. So two and a half years of fun with this machine, and basically we upgraded. Um, we were always using, let's say, Karcher, Karcher K5, Couch K4, um, all the full control uh, modules, and just something wasn't right. Eventually, we blew our Couch K4 up um, unintentionally. I think the pump just melted with how much we used. So, after doing a lot of research, obviously, the Kranzel is the best in the world, and we thought, well, why not let's go and do it? So, we went to pick it up, I had no idea with this. Obviously, I, I saw exposed metal parts, and I thought, oh God, well, what am I getting myself into? So when we first got it, it came with two attachments. So first attachment was this, it's a dirt killer lance, um, which, or a dirt kind of blaster, however you want to call it. Now you'll never use this on your car. It, it produces a, a certain amount of pressure that is designed to remove mold and clean patios and pavements. So again, this is not for your car's paint. So this has actually never ever been used. So again, that's part number one. And then part number two, it came with this humongous it's, must be at least over a meter in length with this lance. Now with this, you can adjust it through here so you can go ultra wide or ultra narrow like a jet. So we used this for about a month, a month and a half um, while we were still researching and waiting for the aftermarket parts to arrive. So this is okay, but the problem is with this inlet thread, as you can see at the bottom, just here, you have to keep unscrewing it and screwing it when, uh, whenever you want to either take it off or add another attachment on. So it's not ergonomic. So it's not kind of the function's not there if you're doing it all the time. So the main meaning of the video, what is happening with Kranzel and what is happening with us? So we've approached Kranzel. They've agreed to work with us, which is um, amazing. And we're going to be selling these pressure washers very soon. So we've got the whole spectrum of pressure washers available all the way down from something like the K7. So it's a little pressure washer about of this size. And that's mainly used by mobile valeters, mobile detailers, um, or people who just kind of wall mount them and don't really want to kind of see it or move the pressure washer at all. Um, so you've got anywhere from K7, which is here, and all the way up to the huge massive pump ones that cost you know five grand plus in some cases which are just monsters so with with 1122 tst i think or 1152 tst um i think that this pressure washer is the best bang for the book it's got pro capability in terms of adjustable pressures all the way to the prosumer consumer usability it's very, it's very easy to use um, but it just delivers so much bang for the book that it's, I don't think it's rivaled by anybody at the minute. So with this one, we're going to be stocking this first. As I said, we've got two and a half years experience with this machine. So if any kind of tips and trick questions come in, I'll be more than happy to use them um, and answer them as well. But the most exciting thing is we've teamed up with MTM. Now, if you don't know who MTM are, MTM, um, they produce the best fittings and the best accessories in the world, period. So as you may have seen, the, the short trigger guns like this, anything of the lances, snow foam cannons, anything like that, um, they just produce the best. They take an OEM stock machine like this and they make it better. So MTM, Kranzel, and Yum Cars, it's a three company collaboration. Obviously it, it's ending with us because that's where the end package is gonna get sold. Um, the thing with Kranzel is they don't want to sell to you. They don't want to sell to the end user because it's, it's an industry-based industry, if that makes sense. So they, they are targeting the industrial kind of companies or 
like the pro only people who kind of need that sort of power. So whereas with us, we have approached all of these companies on your behalf um, because again, we use this and we've almost begged them to say, please, can we work with you? Now, it's, it's taken a long time. It's taken a lot of emails, but eventually it's here. So now you will be able to buy, as I'm about to describe, probably the best kit on the market, hands down. So with 11... With 1152, um, one of the main beauties of it is, is it's got a retractable hose reel. So it's 15 meters, but inside the hose, it's a braided hose line. So basically when you lie the pressure washer down and you unreel this reel, um, there's no kinks, there's no tangles. You can literally leave the pressure washer here where we do next to where all the inlets are for the water. And we just reel it all out 15 meters and we walk around the cars, how, you know, how we need them. And that's it. When you're done, you, st you stand it back up. There's, an, there's a nice handle here uh, and you just reel it up. So that's probably one of the main advantages because if you use car chair or anything like that, they, they either don't have retractable hose reels or if they do, the hoses are that cheap and nasty that as soon as you pull it out, it kinks and it's not long enough. So you have to almost carry your pressure washer around with you around the car, which is just not ideal because you need longer water hoses, etc. So that's the, the the best thing. Now, as you can see here, so there's black housing. This is, I'm learning the terminology still because again, there's so much kind of to catch up information wise, but with this inlet, that's the technical term for it. With this inlet, there's a certain thread inside it, um, which connects to this housing inside any of these lances. So it just kind of screws in. Now, the thing with this is, what we've done is, we've, as I said, we've approached MTM. We are getting a stainless steel, so T3 or 4 grade, which is just the top class stainless steel possible. We're getting a coupler that will attach into the housing or the inlet. And from then on, as you can see, it's just very sim. I mean, as you can hear, I mean, the, it sounds like a, a gun getting cocked here. Um, it's just, as soon as you have this coupler, it all of a sudden attaches to the MTM gun. Obviously at the bottom of the gun, you've got a different coupler on top of here. As you can see, it's got a different couple altogether. So when you get this package, you can all of a sudden attach a longer lance if you so desire. But then after that, you can take it off, put a nozzle on and have a shorter gun, or if you if you're going into the snow foam stage, you get your snow foam cannon and go ding and it's done. It's done all within a matter of seconds and the fittings are just world-class. It's just functional excellence. Um, so the plan that I've got is I'm going to be taking this 1152 TST. So we're going to be ordering them in. In, in the meantime, we've got a, a massive shipment coming over from MTM, which you know, guns, tips, nozzles, which to be honest, regards all the couplers, you don't need to worry about because it's, it's gonna to get talked down to our spec. So once those two parties meet here at our HQ, what's gonna happen is we're gonna buy the Kranzo, we're gonna rip apart all of these things that I've already mentioned. So we're gonna just rip them out because you just don't need them. Um, and what we're then gonna do is we're gonna start attaching aftermarket parts. So we're gonna put a coupler here, a quick connect here, etc. So when you go on our website eventually, which should be very soon, when you go and buy, say, the full package, so an 1152, you won't see any of this in there. What you're gonna see is what you have here. The gun is gonna be already on here. The coupler is gonna be torqued down to the specs so there's no leaks, none of that sort of stuff. Um, and it's, it's a plug and play system. You plug it into the power, you plug the water on, you turn it on, and all of a sudden you've got yourself a gun that is just usable. It's fantastic foam cannon interface, all good to go, unbelievable. Um, so we're not gonna give you a choice, only because I know that you, don't, you do not want the original parts. Um, you may think you do, but you don't. Now, obviously the parts are gonna be supplied in the box still, so that's not an issue. It's not like we're keeping them and reselling them. You will have the parts, but you, 
like me, you, you will never use these. So, so these will be upstairs from uh, gathering dust in the loft. Um, so that is the plan. We are going to be ripping apart something that's great. We're going to be putting it back together to make it something that is amazing. Um, and it, I'm just super excited. I think the cat's out the bag on this one as well. Um, there is a, on the next video, I'm going to be talking about some really big news um, with MTM as well of what, there's another thing that is coming to Yum Cars, which is the first kind of product of its type in the UK. Um, but that's for the next video, so make sure you tune into that one as well. But I just wanted to do an introduction into the, um, the 1152 TST um, and just to show you some of the specs. I'll be honest with you, if, if this looks intimidating, I mean, this is, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's 32 kilos, so it's a very heavy machine. It's, it's not light. So, I mean, it's nothing major, but if you're comparing this to a Karcha K2 or Karcha K4, this is a monster. Um, but this machine, it doesn't matter that you only wash cars once a week or you wash cars every two days as a job. Um, this machine is just functional excellence. It's, there, there is nothing kind of sidetracking from that. It's per pound, I think it's the best you can buy. Of course, you can buy bigger pressure washers for more money. However, there is always a trade-off. Yes, you may get more flow rate, you may get more PSIs. I mean, this can go... On the dial, it's saying you can go all the way to 250 bar, which is a lot of pressure. Now, again, I'll be, if I'm honest, I'm, well, so it's 3,500 PSI. I, I wash my car on about 1,500, 2,000 maybe. It really it depends for the task, but the sweet spot for us is about 1,500 PSI. So I'm not even breaking half, halfway on this pressure washer. It's got a metal pump, which is a little bit like an engine. If it's got oil in it, it will run. So it's not a plastic pump that you get from China nowadays. It's, it's fully metal. German build quality, it's amazing. Um, so this is the first introduction to the 1152 TST. You can see what it looks like. Um, I am quite a tall guy, so you can see where it's coming up to. And it's, it's just the best. I'm super excited to kind of launch this so you guys can use what we use. Again, two and a half years in, there has not been a single drama with it. The only thing I've had to do is change oil once. Now, I'm not the best person at wrenching things as people know. However, if I can do this, you can do this. Now, the first time took me about five minutes. Now I know what to do. This will probably take me about 30 seconds. And most of that time is probably used up in the oil draining out. You put the right oil in, which is widely available at any supermarket, auto parts store, and you're back in business. So it's, it's a super easy thing to use. And because of this, there's going to be further capability where we're exploring, where we're going to probably get a better lance or a better this or a better that. So with this, once you put the certain coupler in and it takes a quarter inch uh, quick disconnect plug, anything's possible. So I'm gonna leave this video at that. Hope you guys are starting to get ex as excited as I am because this will literally change the game in the UK. And obviously you guys will get the opportunity to, to, um, to buy this as well and use the best in the world at the comfort of your own home. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be exciting as well. Some more news, but I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. So um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, guys.